Morning, everyone. This is the news burst for a Friday morning. Wake up temperatures are a little damp and a little chilly today. Low to mid 50s across southeast Wisconsin as you get it started, but the rest of the Storm Team forecast is real pleasant. From Scott Steele, he's got sunny and seasonal with a high near 72 degrees. In the news today, U.S. embassies in the Middle East bracing for continuing protests. This is four people are in custody now for the U.S. consulate attack in Benghazi. Officials in Libya believe that was a coordinated attack under the cover of the protests of an anti Islam film. President Obama is planning a campaign fundraiser in Milwaukee. He'll be here a week from Saturday. Uh, it'll cost you $250 to get in. The most expensive tickets with all the extra perks are going for $25,000 apiece at the Milwaukee Theater. A Milwaukee police officer shot overnight. Two cops, two suspects got into a struggle outside a house at 21st and Stark. At some point in that struggle, a gun went off. Milwaukee police still not saying whose gun it was. 24-year-old officer ended up with a shot to the leg. Both suspects arrested and that officer is expected to be okay. Two people were killed in a possible drunk driving crash out in Fond du Lac County. A car crossed the center line on Highway 45 and took out another vehicle. A 13-year-old girl was also badly hurt. Today is the first day that Apple is accepting pre-orders for the iPhone 5, and in the first hour of those pre-orders, the initial stock has already been accounted for. Uh, news of how successful the new phone will be, uh, investors are definitely taking stock in Apple. The shares are now up to a new record high of just shy of $683 apiece. If you see people dangling off a building in downtown Milwaukee today, they'll be hanging about 17 stories over the Milwaukee River. No worries, it's a fundraiser for Special Olympics Wisconsin called Over the Edge. They paid to do it. In sports, you get the Brewers hosting the Mets this weekend, a series at Miller Park. Brewers now three and a half games out of that final playoff spot in the National League. And the Packers look more like playoff contenders with a 23-10 win over the Bears. Have a great weekend.